With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a stationary horizontal disc is free to rotate about its axis when the torque is applied on it. The kinetic energy as a function of theta, where theta is the angle by which it is rotated, is given by this. Its moment of inertia is I. Then angular acceleration of the disc is what is to be calculated. So if you see the kinetic energy here is this. So I will write here rotational kinetic energy is equals to right. So we know that the disc is rotating. So I will write here I half I omega square is the rotational kinetic energy of the disc that is equals to this so differentiating both side with respect to t right so i will differentiate both side with respect to t so i will get i by 2 2 omega d omega by dt so you will get k 2 theta d theta by dt right so this two will get cancelled out, right? And uh, you can write this d theta by dt is rate of change of angular displacement, which is angular velocity. So this will be alpha is equals to 2k theta into omega. So this omega will get cancelled out. So from here you will get alpha is equals to 2k theta by i, right? So if you see in the question we were asked about the angular acceleration and we got the angular acceleration is 2k theta by i and you can match the option d is the correct one so the moment of inertia is i then find the angular acceleration then ang angular acceleration is 2k theta by i thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today